Hey friends, Dustin here. You're watching the Life of Lynn channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. Today we're doing a huge episode. We are working on the largest solar system that I've ever installed, and we're doing it on a budget. It's going to be a two-part episode, so make sure you subscribe so you can check around for the next part when it comes out here pretty soon. But we're going to jump right into building this massive solar system right after the words from today's sponsor, the Life of Lynn channel, which is Simply Safe. Thanks, Simply Safe, for sponsoring today's episode. Guys, you know I love Simply Safe, and I honestly think you would love Simply Safe too. And one of my biggest things that I love about Simply Safe is you're no longer going to be waiting for an installation expert to come over and install one of these high dollar fancy systems that don't work very well. All you have to do, go to the website, jump on there, tell them what stuff you need, they'll ship it all directly to your door. Super easy, it's super fast, plus, you don't have to wait for some technician to come over and schedule a time and then decide well i need a different drill bit so i can drill more holes in your brick nope this stuff comes right to your door you unbox it it's super simple to install little batteries and a couple things you just pull the tabs out and then a lot of this stuff mounts without even using screws really high quality double-sided stuff you just pull it off stick it on where you need it guys there is no safe like simply safe and I honestly believe that they've been installed in my house and in my shop out around the homestead for over a year now. And I have been enjoying their service greatly. It's really nice to have that extra peace of mind with Simply Safe here on the homestead. I know that I can go in and look at my cameras and sensors from anywhere in the world as long as I have internet access. <laughs> I can see what's going on at my house. Also, the guys over at Simply Safe are always monitoring 24 7, and that gives me added peace of mind when I'm not looking at all my stuff. Big shout out to Simply Safe. For sponsoring today's episode you guys can get a bunch of money off your simply safe system simply go over to simplysafe.com forward slash life lend right there you will receive 20 percent off your simply safe system when you sign up for your interactive monitoring service and you're going to get your first month free pretty awesome setup so guys again that's simplysafe.com forward slash life of lend link is in the description go check it out now let's get to the solar system. Today we're starting a new project, or actually at an undisclosed location, and a homestead, we're putting in solar. And the biggest solar system I've ever put in. You guys have seen me put in 200, 300, 400 watts on campers, and my personal 1.2 kilowatt system on the shop. But now we're, I just started this. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride because this is gonna be an epic install. We're talking four kilowatts of power coming in. We've got a huge inverter in this place. And yeah, look at the size of those solar panels. Those are 360 watts a piece. And I think we have 12 of them. So yeah, gonna be a really big system. Just uh, started putting things together here going through everything, making sure I got all the proper cabling. Got a bunch of zero gauge welding wire and stuff. Just uh, got this plywood up and hung our systems up uh, when we're starting the wiring process now. And then we're gonna build a giant rack to hold all the solar panels. It's gonna be tiltable, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So you guys are gonna wanna stick around for that. But right now I'm just gonna show you where we're at. We already got the wires run out to where they need to go. This one's gonna be going to the house. So all our solar coming in from the outside is coming up through these two little wires here. Then we go into this uh, FlexMax solar charge controller made by Outback Power Systems. That's, uh, she can handle up to 80 amps at 150 volts. So that should do it. Gonna have a little disconnect down here. A little lightning protection, you know, 100 amp overload. That's gonna trip, hopefully save some of our electronics. Of course, we're using really heavy gauge ground wire. Everything's connected to a giant copper grounding rod outside. So all the equipment will have some ground in case something happens. <clears throat> so after we're coming off of this, we're gonna go to a giant battery bank down here. Not here yet because I don't wanna stand on top of it. But uh, look at these things over here. Pallets of batteries for this job. Of course, most of this stuff's provided by uh, my guys over at Renergy. Renergy Solar, I've been using them for a long time. I keep trying to get a sponsorship deal. Maybe they'd send me some free stuff or even a t-shirt or a discount code for you guys. And, well, they're struggling with wanting to do that. But 
I've been using them for years and it's still a good company, so I'm still gonna mention them. These are 200 amp hour gel batteries. Yeah, I know they're not lithiums, but a 200 amp hour lithium battery is like $1,400 a piece right now. A battery, $1,400 a battery. And we have eight. We have eight 200 amp hour batteries. Uh, those gel batteries are still pretty decent, way better than just a sealed uh, lead acid. We're gonna get several thousand discharges on that. And if we have enough solar coming in, that's gonna make them last, you know, 10, 15 years, which is pretty awesome. The panels, guys, I'm telling you, these things are massive. Look at that. We have 12 of them. Um, so this is gonna be a big system. This is gonna be full backup and potentially a full time system. Um, the homestead here has several outbuildings. We got three shops, a barn, a Quonset, uh, you know, chicken coop, goat bin, goat hut, and a uh, three or four bedroom house. So a lot of stuff to power. Right now, a lot of stuff's powered by electric, but I think it's going to get switched over to either gas or uh, wood stove type stuff. So once the solar charges that massive battery bank up, this is our power inverter here. This thing is capable of doing dual phase 240 volt AC off of our 48 volt battery bank. So DC to AC, gonna be really exciting. This sucker here, 6,000 watts nominal, but it has an 18,000 watt surge. So you can start motors, compressors, well pumps, you know, important stuff to keep your house going in times of need. So this guy is heavy. I think it's 85 pounds, and that's all we could do to get this mounted up here with, like, 10 screws and, of course, on a stud. So, she's heavy duty. we got huge battery lugs here on the bottom. Those are going to drop right down to our battery bank. Um, power fans on both sides. Going to blow heat right out of the top. Right out of the sides. So we got our two legs of hot will be coming out of the top. Right into this breaker box here, going to its own main breaker, and then, of course, trickling down to all our smaller breakers. So these are gonna go to different parts of the shops. And then we actually have a big 60 amp breaker right here. It's gonna be tied to the house for backup through this big guy here. So everything will have all the juice. Pretty excited about this one, guys. It's the biggest system I've ever built. And we got a nice little jump on it already. The stuff's mounted on the walls. Now we just got all the tedious wiring and setting things up. Probably a couple days of work here for sure. And I'm sure I'm missing one or two things that we're going to need to get. But anyway, I'm gonna get to it. Let's get the solar system rolling and see if we can power this entire homestead with it. friends it's a couple days down the road had to run and get some more parts it's cooled off outside heading back to our undisclosed location today gonna get some more work done and uh, we're gonna get the battery bank hooked up today for sure and hook up the inverter and uh, power a load make sure all that stuff works before we tie it into our main panel system we'll see what happens when we get there I'll get you caught up on where we're at all right we're back in the shop at the homestead let me give you guys a little update, okay? Uh, after a little time lapse, uh, I got a few more things wired. Solar charge controllers all mounted up. Got all our wiring hooked up in here. It's not hooked up directly to the batteries yet. Uh, same thing with our power inverter. She's uh, all mounted. We've got our main cables going to it and our shutoff switch. And then, look at this. We got our heavy gauge cable coming off the top of the inverter. That's all wired up. We're coming down here to our main panel. So today, hopefully, I'm gonna get 
all these batteries wired up. I got two banks here. Let me show you. Here's bank one. Here's bank two. Each of those are 12 volts a piece. They are wired in series. So they're going positive, negative, positive, negative for four. So that's gonna give us our 48 volts for four batteries. And we have eight batteries. Uh, so we're gonna be doing the same on the other bank. So we're gonna have two banks. Each bank's 48 volts. Uh, they're 200 amp hour batteries. So that's gonna give us uh, 400 amp hours at 48 volts, which is not bad. Would like to expand that in the future, but guys, batteries are incredibly expensive. Like I've said before, if you buy the big stuff right off the bat, like a really good charge controller and a really good inverter, you can always expand your battery bank and add solar panels and add more solar panels to them uh, down the road. And with the battery banks, like I said, you can get some used batteries that are still in pretty decent shape. Uh, you know, think of places that have backup power stations where they have to replace the batteries every like four or five years um, even though the batteries haven't been used you know they're just sitting there in float charge maybe been used once or twice when the power goes out or something uh, those batteries are probably going to be still good for you for a while obviously not the best but if you can get a deep cycle agm or even a, a cheaper lithium or something like that for 50 bucks as opposed to 700 dollars you know, you might save yourself and get by for like one or two years while you're saving up for, you know, the latest and greatest, you know, lithium rack batteries that all the YouTubers have and stuff. I'm not one of them fancy YouTubers with all the monies and all the fancy stuff. So you'll not see those here today. Ice machine in the corner making noise. But I'm going to jump right back into this. Uh, I'll show you guys how to wire up these batteries. And we're going to do a little test and see if this inverter fires up. All right, guys, I apologize for the lighting. Uh, it's dark out today, and, well, I've got some battery lights, and there's not a lot of electricity out here yet because, you know, we're working on it. Let's talk about the first bank that I already got wired together in series. Here's our main negative cable and our main negative lug. This is going to be our central tie-in point. But basically, that negative cable comes right into the bottom of our power inverter there. Negative to positive, positive to negative of the next battery, and then we just keep going across all four batteries. So that means we're going to have 48 volts here. Pretty awesome. So this is this bank. We're going to do the exact same and copy that on this bank. And when we get done, this positive is then going to jump over to this positive, and that'll combine our banks together. We need to wire up our solar charge controller, so that's ready to go when our solar panels go up. And we got a little bit more wiring to do over here. I'm gonna have at least one outlet ready to go. So let's get to it. are now combined. You can tell the load was equal in both banks. There wasn't any arcing or sparks, which is nice. All right, updates. Battery bank is all wired together. Bank one, bank two, 48 volts combined nicely. Now I've still got to tuck away a few wires and make this look a little bit better, but uh, all this comes together. I've actually already hooked up our charge controller to the battery bank. We're still waiting on the solar panels, which will be outside the greenhouse over here. Panels are here. We just got to set them up, but the wiring's all in. So wire them up, plug this in. We'll hit that little switch to connect it. Come over to this guy. That's going to charge our battery bank. That's already connected up down here and over here. Beautiful. 
So the only thing we got to test is our massive Ames power inverter. This is a 48 volt guy. So the only thing we got to do is turn our disconnect on. Now, this does have pretty large capacitors in it and a really big transformer in it. So that initial click, you're going to pull a lot of load. They have a little slow charge device that you can hook up where it kind of eases the power into there. You'll probably see a little bit of an arc in there, but don't go slow. You know, that's going to wear out your contacts. This thing's designed for about 500 amps, I think. So it should be able to take this on and off as long as this thing's not on and loaded. So let's go ahead and flip it on. So now this thing's charged up. We just got to fire it up, see if it works. So inverter on. Beautiful. There we go. Output voltage, 225 volts. Battery input voltage, 51.2 in the bank right now. No load. Can you hear the little hum that it's making? Yeah. This is a pretty hefty duty setup. Pretty happy. Uh, so far, things kicked on like it's supposed to. No issues. Let's um, go ahead and plug something into the new load. We've added a 20 amp circuit here. And it just goes down to this outlet for now. Eventually, this whole shop. And all the other buildings will be wired into this. And then there's actually going to be a backup leg to the house. So this is going to be the 60 amp coming out here. All right, everything's nominal so far. Just going to plug in the vacuum, see if it works. Yep, sure does. Not even showing a load of the vacuum on. Load test completed. That shop vac didn't even put much of a load at all on this thing. This inverter is so big, it actually showed 0% output load. So not, not much power being, being consumed at all. Once this is all wired together and we have solar to be able to recharge these batteries, then we'll be putting this thing underneath a, a much bigger test and powering big power tools and entire shops and stuff with it. So we're gonna see how that goes. Guys, this is a pretty big project. And there's a lot of tedious wiring to be done. All the cabling's already been trenched and buried. This is a several week long process. So we're still working on it and I'm gonna make this a two part episode. That way uh, we can break this up a little bit. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe so you can see the second part of this video. We are trying to build a very affordable, large solar system here. that's gonna be able to provide backup power for this entire homestead, the barn, everything. Uh, but we're starting right here in the shop, and we got a pretty good jump on it. I'd say all our main stuff's plugged in and operational. So we're going to go ahead and shut this all back down. In the next episode, we're going to be installing those solar panels and hooking up the backup power for the house. And then we will provide a real-world test of how good this system can do. I hope you guys join me, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's episode. Remember, guys, head over to simplysafe.com forward slash life lend. You're going to get a 20% discount over there and your first month free when you sign up for their interactive monitoring service, which is pretty awesome. So thanks again to those guys for sponsoring today's episode. And thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.